everyone, it's Rachel, and today I will be telling um, one of my creepier uh, paranormal experiences from my old house. Um, this is one of the only times in that house that I was ever, like, physically affected um, by something of that nature. So, um... Yeah, let's just get let's just get into this. Um, this happened, I believe, either my freshman or sophomore year of high school, so about seven or eight years ago. Um, and I still slept in the basement. Uh, my sister, my older sister at the time, um, lived at home and also lived um, in the basement, but she was out for the weekend with her boyfriend now husband um so she was gone all weekend and um where my room was I would have seen if she had come home because I could see the stairs from my room um she wasn't there she didn't come home all weekend and I asked her and she said she didn't um so I have never really liked sleeping in a quiet area. I always like to have like um, noise in the background. When I had cable um, in my room, I would leave the TV on at night. So I had, um, well, both light and also just background sound. Um, growing up when I was younger and didn't have TV in my room, I would listen to my MP3 player at night. Um, so I listened to music until I went to sleep. Um, this particular year, for about a month straight, I watched Juno, the movie Juno, until I went to bed. So I had Juno on in the background, and it was really late at night. It was probably like one or two in the morning. Um, I think it was probably two, because I don't know why, but I was up really late and I couldn't get to sleep. So I was on my laptop, uh, playing around, and um, Juno was on. And I was like, good grief, I have to go to bed, I have school the next day. Um, but I was like trying to wind down and go to sleep. And I know screens affect how you sleep. So that's probably why I couldn't sleep. And I'm aware of that. Um, but that's just how I've always been. Um, and I heard noises. Chewy. I heard noises coming from uh, the opposite, the other side of the wall um, from where I was. Because the way our basement was set up is if you go down the stairs, like there's the stairs, and then there's a spare utility and storage room. Oh. There's a spare utility and storage room. Um, immediately on that uh, left side and then open space and you go around it has a family room and then if you keep walking straight there's my room and if you go around the corner there was this big area it was a pretty big basement um so she her bed was over there and mine was on the other side of the wall so there was a wall my closet and then there um and I heard noises and I heard talking and there was nobody up mind you at this time and if there was the only person that would have been up was my dad because he's up late in the night and I heard like a full conversation between a man and a woman and at first it was just really quiet and I heard things like moving and I was like wait what is that and then I was like okay whatever and then I heard the conversation get louder and it was getting more intense and the male was getting more angry and they were saying like um does she know about us do they know about us what do they know what have you told them what what does she know about us does she know we're here and it was like getting really intense until they were like yelling almost and i was like oh my gosh and i heard things being like thrown across um the room and like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, who is here? What is going on? What? 
So like any normal person would do, I shut my laptop and threw the covers over my head and acted like I was asleep because that's the most, you know, that's the biggest defense you can have against someone being in your house, right? Throw the covers over your head and pretend like you're asleep. They won't find you then, <laughs> but um, that's what I did. And um, yeah, like it was getting more intense and it was getting louder and I could hear things like being thrown until like the, they were just like yelling like, what does she know? She knows we're here. This is all your fault. And they were like full yelling. And I was like, uh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. If I could just levitate up through the floor and go up, I would, I would do that. Um, so I was freaking out. And then I was like, okay, whatever. So suddenly, I don't know how, I just, I calmed myself down and I was able to go to sleep. And I woke up in the middle of the night um, with like a pain on my arm. And I was like, oh my gosh, this hurts really bad. But I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I probably did something to it in the middle of the night. And I don't know. So I went back to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning, I used to have pictures of these and I can't find them anymore. I think it was on an old phone. Um, I had scratches, deep fingernail scratches all the way down my arm. And then um, at the bottom of it, like right here on my arm was a smiley face. Um, and I was like, what? what? And it hurt so bad. And these were like deep gashes. Like I don't have, like these are the longest my fingernails get pretty much. I don't have fingernails because I either bite them off or I pick them or whatever. Cause I, I can't stand to have long nails. So I didn't do it to myself. So that was creepy. And then I like slowly like got out of bed and like walked out of my room and looked around and oh my gosh, you guys, there was stuff thrown across the basement. Like the basement was a mess. And like there had been heavy, fragile stuff that had been like pushed off a table. It didn't break thankfully, but like it was pushed off the table. The laundry basket was thrown across the room. It was a mess. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went up and I asked my family because I was like, did any of you hear the yelling last night? Did any of you come down and throw things like, look at the scratches on my arm, did any of you do this? What happened? They, guys, they did not hear any yelling at all. At all. Had they, had someone been in our house yelling or had the neighbors been in our house yelling, they would have heard it better than I would because like they're closer to the noise than I am. Like what? And if anyone had been in there yelling, they would have heard it too, right? Because they were yelling really loud. And I was the only one that heard it. I was so freaked out. I was, ugh. Oh. But the scratches is what gets me the most. Because, like, I've heard things. I had even heard conversations. And that's another story. I had heard conversations before when I was home alone. And there was, like, no one around. Neighbors weren't home. So it was like, What? Um, and like I had, we had heard things being moved around. We've experienced that again. Those are other stories for another day, but oh, I had, I had never been physically touched by anything and like harmed by anything like that before. And that's what gets me. So that's one of my scarier, um, encounters, uh, physical encounters, um, yeah. So if any of you have explanations for what that could be, please let me know because I've asked everyone, I've looked into it, and I cannot think of anything that it could have been. And, um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I will be filming more paranormal videos, um, sporadically because I have a ton of stories. Um, so thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Um, if you have any questions or explanations, please comment them down below. I would love to read them. I read all my comments, um, and everything. Um, subscribe if you aren't already and would like to be, and I will see you in another video. Bye!